Entrepreneurship versus the Meaning of Life. Hi, I'm Adele McClay, founder of the Mega Entrepreneur Program, supporting entrepreneurs who want to become mega entrepreneurs. And what does that mean? Well, for me, a mega entrepreneur is high performing, world class, financially successful, generous, and trusted. So let me ask you the question what's the meaning of life? That's certainly a question I've asked myself from time to time, and as a result, I've spent a lot of time reading on the subject. It has been many a dinner party debate, existential analysis. There are no right or wrong answers, of course. It's about individual perspective. I've now got to the point where personally, I think the question is not, what is the meaning of life, but rather, how does one live a purposeful or meaningful life? Certainly that's a question or conversation that sits more comfortably with me. I've been influenced in my thinking by many books and one in particular has resonated, Dr. Victor E. Frankel's Man's Search for Meaning. Dr. Frankel was an Austrian Jewish doctor of neurology and psychiatry. In 1942, along with his compatriots, parents, wife and brother, Dr. Frankel was arrested and taken to a concentration camp in Bohemia. He remained incarcerated until the end of World War II, during which time all of his loved ones perished. Notwithstanding his personal tragedies, Dr. Frankel continued to seek the answers to fundamental existential questions, and after World War II, he returned to his work and developed logotherapy. In Greek, logos means meaning, actually. According to logotherapy, man could experience meaning in three ways. The first, meaning of life, meaning having clear roles, goals, and ambitions. The second is the meaning of love, having loving and healthy relationships. And the third is the meaning of suffering, having a redemptive understanding towards life's challenges and suffering. So you're probably asking, what on earth does this all mean in the context of small business or entrepreneurial success? Well, for me, it's about passion. To live with meaning and purpose, we have to live passionately. And if we're not passionate about the work we do, finding meaning in it, then we'll never achieve the level of success that we're seeking in our work. As entrepreneurs, like it or not, we're leaders. And if we're not clear on our purpose in life, the meaningfulness of our own lives beyond our business, and the congruence of that life purpose in our business, then in my opinion and experience, our teams, customers, our stakeholders, and others who are connected to our business will not buy into us or connect with us. They'll sense a misalignment and our businesses will struggle. You see, people, whether they be staff, customers, or suppliers, or anyone else connected to us, want to build authentic and trusting relationships with other people. I know that the word authentic is overused at present, but it means real and genuine. We want authenticity in our lives and the people we interact with socially and in business are part of that authenticity. Do you feel authentic in your relationships? Are you living with purpose and passion? Have you created a plan for your life? Ironically, many of us would not start a business without a business plan, but most of us don't have life plans, a map or set of goals that we aspire to and are working towards achieving. Many people want wander through life and business and feel unfulfilled. Do you want to feel that way? I invite you to take a step back and think about the meaningfulness and purpose of your life and what drives you at a personal level. Perhaps you might like to consider the following questions. Who are you? What matters in your life? What are your personal values? What do you want to do? What do you want to share with the world? Why do you want to share it with the world? It's time to dream. And I bet you're thinking, ah, not that airy fairy stuff. No, it's not that at all. For me, dream means destiny represented evocatively, actively, and magnetically. If there were no barriers to what you could achieve in your life, both personally and professionally, what would you want to do and achieve? Find your passion in life. Identify the things that make you feel more meaningful and make your life feel more meaningful. Once this has been done, create a life plan with goals and perhaps even a vision board and start mapping out your pathway towards achieving that life plan. And I encourage you to set weekly, monthly and yearly goals and review them periodically. 
it is affirming when another milestone in life is ticked off. I certainly know that from my own personal experience. Then think about your life plan and how it merges with your business plan. Are they congruent? Are your goals and values in life congruent with what's happening in your business and the way in which you manage your business and interact with your stakeholders? Are you running your business in a way that supports you to achieve your life goals? For instance, if one of your life goals is to have a one month overseas holiday with your family each year, can your business sustain that? Who will manage your business in your absence? Is your business viable without you working on it or are you the key person? And if you're gone for a month, then nothing will happen and no work gets done. If your business framework is not allowing you to achieve what is important to you in life, then you will feel frustrated and that will be felt by all. What needs to change in your business for you to achieve your personal life plan? I truly believe that when there is congruence between our life plan and business plan, we are happier entrepreneurs and that happiness and purposefulness will be felt in all our relationships, both personal and professional. Plus, we achieve more, again, both in life and in business. I call it Viva Leadership. Vision internalized is vision actualized. Internal clarity and ownership of our personal vision and congruence with our business world creates purpose, momentum and achievement with lots of happiness and, con and contentment along the way, as well as the usual challenges of running and growing a business, and I'm sure we all know about that. But hey, at least when the tougher times in life and business occur, we know that we can find meaning in those times too. We just need to push through and the achievement of our life's purpose will be a step or two nearer. Personally, I like the thought of that. Do you? So thank you for joining me today. I hope that's been a, uh, some food for thought and uh, I look forward to sharing with you again. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, I'd certainly love to have you part of my entrepreneurial community. Thanks. Bye.